Um, so we've got um, eight more minutes and I'm just gonna present my work really quickly. Um, I've got a video here. Uh, the ox was created to meet a need for oxygen, which is used as a low risk respiratory therapy for the majority of mild COVID cases. The aim is to deliver 90% FiO2 or greater at 10 liters per minute or more. The focus of this project is to design and build an open source oxygen concentrator that can be manufactured locally where it is needed most. It's anticipated that OX will be used at home by patients themselves, so there is a strong need to focus on user friendliness and safety. OX is designed to be used in challenging environments where it may be hot, humid, and dusty, which shortens the lifespan of typical consumer oxygen concentrators. The key requirement is that OX is easy to manufacture virtually anywhere in the middle of the pandemic. All the materials and components have been carefully selected to be easy to find in common sizes through alternative supply chains, and OX can be made by hand with simple tools. OX uses a pressure swing absorption process, which is a simple and proven design. The two tanks are filled with 0.5 millimeter synthetic zeolite balls with a very high surface area to create a molecular sieve. When pressurized room air is passed through the sieves, the nitrogen is preferentially attracted to the zeolite, which is known as adsorption. This allows the oxygen and the argon to filter through. The nitrogen is then purged to atmosphere. The two tanks alternate between absorbing and purging in a continuous cycle where the pressure swings between zero and about 30 PSI. This pulsed output is buffered in a small receiver, which contains about 95% oxygen and 5% argon. This is exhausted at the desired rate for oxygen therapy. The room air does need to be treated using various filters to remove pollutants and dryers to remove all the moisture, which can be a challenge in dusty and humid environments. The PSA process is controlled using a microcontroller. The original design uses an ESP32, and the next iteration uses an Arduino Mega Shield uh, with the same electronics that have been tested on the perforated board. This is done to add more sensors and valves and to remove the Wi Fi and Bluetooth for security reasons. This is a demonstration of an early prototype producing around 94 to 95% oxygen. This is measured with a Ventmon device. Now you can see in here the pressure swing uh, absorption process. So that last video was just showing a recent um, build that I've been working on that's been uh, funded by the Joggle grant that I recently received. And that's to make something more of a, a home use model using an oilless compressor. The first one is running on an oiled compressor, um, which does require a little bit of filtering. Um, so two slightly different models um, to achieve different things, as you can see. The second one wasn't uh, quite getting there in terms of the oxygen concentrator. It is uh, concentration. It is raining at the moment, so it was um, it was again that the moisture that was um, being mentioned a few times is a, is a real challenge.
Uh, so some more work to do on that. Um, the next steps for this project are to, we've got um, two volunteers helping me now to implement like a closed loop control system and um, yeah, get some more telemetry on the process and um, see if we can optimize that because it is quite sensitive to atmospheric conditions and um, various things. Um, yeah, how did I decide on the length? Um, uh, that was based largely on cost and uh, availability of the copper. So that was one meter of copper. Um, and just done some tests on, it does pull a little bit of moisture. Um, it's not great. And in the sort of probably 100% humidity environment at the moment, there was moisture passing through. Um, so that's again, something else to be addressed, but um, maintenance is also a big issue. As Bruce mentioned that um, the, um, so sort of alumina or any kind of desiccant will, you know, will be, um, uh, will sort of run out in only a few hours. So how do we address that issue um, is a big question. So um, that sort of brings us to the end of time for oxygen concentrators. There's some, been some really good talks. Um, Neil Downey, Diane Downey, Florin, uh, George and Vaibhav Chabra, Adi Alti and, and Bruce Woodburn, thank you everyone for presenting. And uh, we'll catch you at the social hour. I believe um, Dr. Reed has a two hours on um, policy, which will be really interesting in the open source medical space. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much, Ben. Um, I once tried to go without oxygen, but it made me a little blue. Uh, OK.